Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, the home of the coolest stuff in tabletop, including a monthly magazine that you can pick up each month in print or digital. Head to our website to find that. But today we're talking Bureau of Investigation. And in fact, this review originally appeared in the magazine itself. Now the game is by Space Cowboys, it takes around 90 minutes to play for one to eight players, aged 14 years and older. And today I'm going to give you the review originally written by Dan Jolin. It's the late 1920s and strange things are happening in New England. Like a pair of bodies showing up in the city of Arkham with the same face. Or the sudden disappearance of a seven foot high Inuit statue from the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. Could any of these events be connected to a nasty cult down in Innsmouth? It's down to you and the other federal snoopers and sleuthers to investigate. Though we'd honestly recommend a smaller team as it can get a little bit noisy and a little bit messy with a bigger group. How essential a game of Bureau of Investigation is will likely depend on two things. One, whether you're a fan of the 1980s classic Sherlock Holmes consulting detective, which this game obviously re-implements, and how fatigued you are by seeing tabletop versions of H.P. Lovecraft's work. It's fair to say if you've had it up to here with the Cthulhu, Eldritch, Arcane whatnot, or if you just went into consulting detectives text-heavy, prop-based business, then this probably isn't going to be for you. However, Whilst that's totally understandable, you'd be missing out on a well-crafted, immersive and beautifully presented game. For those unaware of Bureau of Investigation's Conan Doyle's predecessor, the game is a board-free affair, unlike, for example, Detective City of Angels, and works primarily as a group or indeed solo, a choose-your-own-adventure style of experience similar to sort of Legacy of Dragonhold. The participants pour over map, leaf through any provided evidence, take notes and decide whether they're going to investigate a location or interview a suspect or witness. Although, the final decision is always made by the lead investigator, a role that goes clockwork around the table, which necessitates finding the correct entry in the relevant casebook and narrating the outcome. With solid evocative writing and some twists and turns and revelations, this process isn't in practice as dry as it may sound. And it's hard not to get swept up into the story, even if the occasional encounter might throw you with its Lovecraftian weirdness as sudden visions or murky entries scuttle into the narrative. But that, which the rulebook notes, is something that differentiates Bureau of Investigation from Consulting Detective. These mysteries aren't about deducing every last detail, but instead they're about peeling back the thin layer of reality to unveil the cold cosmic chaos that brawls beyond. Anyway, returning to the practicalities, a ticking clock device means that you always have a limited number of leads, i.e. encounters, after which you must multilaterally agree on a trio of intervention locations found at the back of each case booklet. If your locations appear, you'll get, hopefully, some conclusive text and a point value, seven being victory. If not, you were barking up the wrong tree, losers. The fact that you get potentially three endings does muddle the narrative a little bit, and you might have to do a little mental footwork to connect them, though there is always a definitive solution provided. This game is more about the journey than the destination, and in that sense it offers plenty of absorbing rpg light entertainment for anyone willing to delve into some darkness. Now we said that should you play this, yes you should, and that it is an atmospheric sextet of mysteries that will provide many hours of intrigue, entertainment and narrative immersion, even though the replayability is naturally questionable. And you should try this if you like Sherlock Consulting Detective. Assuming you don't mind dealing with crazed cultists and extra-dimensional creatures rather than neatly solving Victorian crimes. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Do head to tabletopgaming.co.uk for more and do join us at Tabletop Gaming Live. We would love to see you there. You can read this full review on that website or pop a link in the description. Um, and thank you ever so much for watching. Have a great day.